About six months ago, we asked our community the next page builder they'd like us to integrate with after Elementor and Divi. Well, the choice was evident. It was Oxygen. So here I am, absolutely proud and stoked to announce that WooFunnels now deeply integrates with Oxygen. So well, that means that you can build your entire funnel from opt-in pages to sales pages, checkouts, one-click upsells and more all using Oxygen. Now Oxygen does boast of incredibly high page load speeds and is also a developer-friendly tool. As a part of the deep integration, you get more than 70 different Oxygen templates that you can further customize using the components that WooFunnels has built especially for Oxygen. I am Tavleen from WooFunnels and Oxygen lovers, this is indeed a great piece of news for you. In this video, I'll show you how to build opt-in funnel using Oxygen and WooFunnels. Then we will go on to building a sales funnel with one-click upsells and thank you pages complete. Finally, I'll show you how to create your global checkout or a storefront checkout using Oxygen. So what are we waiting for? Let's get behind the scenes and let's get started. All right, so we're in the back end now and you will see all the funnels on your website listed one below the other. So what we're going to do is add a new funnel. So let's just call it my oxygen opt-in funnel. So here we will create an opt-in funnel using the oxygen builder. So you will see all the funnel templates that you have at your disposal right here. From the page builder, make sure you've chosen oxygen. We also have deep integration with Divi and Elementor and oxygen is obviously the new addition. We will keep adding more popular and not so popular, but still, uh, you know, page builders that are flexible that you love using. So, um, so make sure you have oxygen here. And also one nifty hack when you do oxygen, it'll ask you if you want to make it your default page builder, you can click on yes. So you can import any of the templates that you like from the options here, and you can sort the list by sales funnel and by opt-in funnel. So, well, um, let us go with the opt-in funnel because we're creating that and we will import the Allure template, right? We will select Allure from here. There you go. So this was a one-click import and we've got opt-in page and opt-in confirmation page here and we can edit these pages and we are good to go. So let's just press edit and now we will open the template up in Oxygen. All right, so there you go. Uh, the template has opened up in Oxygen. And when you click on this, you will see the opt-in form element. And you have a bunch of options here to fully customize this opt-in form. So let's look at a few options that we have at our disposal. So starting with the layout here, you can adjust the form field width. Now, the other options that you have are uh, in uh, label. So here you can have, so here we can see the label. If you turn it, uh, if you just select no, then the label will go away. And uh, it's perfectly okay to have it without the label as well. You can show the label or hide the label. So this is the asterisk color. If you show the label, uh, you can change the co asterisk color from here, which is this red at the moment. And of course, you can change the, you can add margin to your, uh, uh, to, to the labels here. And well, I like it without the label. So I'm just going to go with a no. And then we're going to go back further. This is for input. This is the space, the white space here. As you can see, this is the color white. If you want, you can change the color here, maybe to a lighter tone of gray or anything else that you like, or you can just simply keep it pure white. So that's fine as well. Then we can set the spacing from here. Well, this is pretty nifty. So this is for top, so a complete visual building experience. And this is for 10 for bottom. So 10 PX at the top and 10 PX at the bottom. As you can see, we don't need it on the side. Then you have field typography. Again, from here, you can adjust the size uh, the font size and so on. So we leave it to a, uh, a default, the color, font, weight, and of course, even the text alignment and so on. So going back uh, here in the button, you can enter the button text. So let's say, let's get started. That's your button text. Uh, you can enter any subtitle that you like. Hurry, 
limited spots, you know, if it's a webinar or something, you yes. And uh, when somebody clicks on it, the text they will see is submitting and uh, that's that. So there are more options here for typography, such as font family, font type, size and so on. Here, this is where you can adjust the color. So this is the background color. Col currently it's blue and on hover, it changes to this shade of yellow. So you have the option here to kind of make those changes. Uh, the text shows white and on hover, it shows white. So you might want to change that to something else that ways right so you can do that as well that is the button width uh if you change it to 75 well that's how it's going to appear and then on the you can have it uh on the center and of course the text center aligned as well so other options for uh, margin padding all of that exists here so well that is the opt-in form and it's fully flexible uh, you have four tabs here and you can make all the adjustments that you like to customize the form and make it look however you want. Once you're happy with the changes, just save it. Now you can edit the opt-in thank you page as well. And this opens up in Oxygen. There you go. So this is opened up in Oxygen and it's ready for you to edit. There are no components that WooFunnels has created specifically for the opt-in confirmation page you can build this page using the components that exist in oxygen so this is for the heading you've got some text here this is the icon some more text and of course this is the button you can add the link to the next step in their uh, in, in the process so obviously uh you know you can direct them to the next step in the process by just making uh, by just pasting the url over here and here you can change the name of the uh, of the of the button it could just be read our read our next blog post or whatever else that you like whatever else aligns with your objective so this is the button color like that and this one is on hover that's it let's head back Okay, so that's it. Your thank you page is done as well. Now you can go into your funnel and well, after your funnel is live and launched, you can see the contacts here as they enter the system. Of course, we don't have them at the moment, but uh, once your uh, people begin to sign up on your opt-in form, you will start to see their name, their details and uh, the other activities that they engaged in uh, and further in analytics if you are creating a sales funnel you can see more details such as the orders placed revenue made and all of that but of course since this is an opt-in funnel all you would be interested in is seeing the contacts entering your system all right so now with that with that done let's now go into funnels and now we will create a super simple sales funnel Okay, so here we are back. Now let's add new. So we will call it uh, my sales funnel. And of course, using oxygen again. So let's do that. Let's add it. There you go. So here oxygen is selected as our default page builder for all the funnels that we're going to be creating um, for from now on. So let's select a sales funnel. So I'm going to go into sales funnel and uh, well, again, you are welcome to choose whatever you like. Challenger is really good. Classic is good as well. Let's go with Stunner for this video. All right. So there you go. So the Stunner has been imported. It starts with the checkout page. Now I'm going to show you that checkout page is actually a sales come checkout page. You really don't need a dedicated sales page when you use the checkout of the Stunner's template, uh, the Stunner templates checkout because it's with an embedded form. That's the upsell and that's the thank you page. So actually it's a three step funnel, but of course you can have multiple one click upsell offers. Uh, you could have upsells and downsells and you know, so, so on, so, so as to uh, sort of maximize your average order value. Now, in checkout page, it gives you two prompts, no bumps and no, no products and no bumps. So we're going to go and edit the checkout page and we will first add a product. Okay, so here you go. So that's the template in Oxygen. That's the pre-built template. We'll all we have to do is edit it. But first, let's quickly add a product to our super simple sales funnel. So, well, this is how you add a product. And here we will just search for a sunscreen, which is going to be obviously a physical product. So there you go. 
So yes, and now let's just set the quantity. Well, if you want, you can set the quantity here. So we will set it at, uh, let's say we'll set it at two and we will offer them a discount. So let's do a 50% off. So which is like a buy one, get one free offer. And I'm going to save changes. So let's edit this pre-built oxygen template now. All right, so this template has opened up and this is the checkout form that we have, which is actually a component built by WooFunnel. So when you click here, you'll see checkout form. So that's the checkout form component. Now here you have the options to fully customize the checkout form. So you can start with steps, go on into heading, subheading, the section uh, fields. So the section, which is where the fields are housed, uh, then you've got labels for your fields, input and product switcher and so on. I've let me show you some of the options available at your disposal. So from here, you can choose from breadcrumb. That's the breadcrumb and you can choose uh, between breadcrumbs and tabs. That's how the tab looks and obviously it looks really nice and you can enter the heading. So if information is the heading, you can enter some subheading as well. So let me just do that. Enter your basic details. That's it. Once you're satisfied with your heading and subheading, you can move on to the tab colors. So here, as you can see, we've got the tab border color, count background color and count border color, which is uh, a shade of pink. You can always change that. That's the count text color, which is a shade of gray. This is for all the inactive steps. So we've got a shade of gray here uh, for the inactive steps and you can change these as well. So, uh, well, all of these options are available to you. Just hit it and you will be able to change the color. Further, you can change the font size. So let me just show you. So we changed it to 15 and that's how it's going to look, right? So, well, this, these are the changes that you can make to customize the form. Now let's go on into section. Now in the section again, uh, so these, these are called sections and here you can set padding, which is between the border and the element itself. So let's just set a padding of 10 and we will apply all. So, well, that's how it's going to be. And then let's set the margin as well. Yes, so that's how it's going to look with the margin and the padding in place. Then there are some more options in fields. You can adjust the form field width. So you can choose from full, one half, one third and two third. So at the moment, as you can see, we've got email is full and the first and the last name are one half. This is for label and again, uh, we've got a label. So when uh, there is no text, so let me just get rid of this. So that is the label. Again, uh, you can adjust uh, the font size, weight and all of that for the label as well. So yes, there you go. That's how you could adjust it. Now, next we've got uh, input here. In input, again, you can choose font family, font size, and all of that here, you've got error validation. So if there is an error, it shows in the color red, you can change the color from here. And this is the focus color. So this is the color blue. Now for changing the CTA button text or the colors, all you have to do is go into payment buttons. And here you'll see for step one, we've got next step. So that's step one. And that's step two, next step again. And finally, we have the place order now button. So you can change the CTA button uh, text. And of course you can change the colors as well. So the colors can be changed from here. So that's in the normal state and that's in the hover state. So you can change these colors as well. Of course, again, you've got the options to add margin padding uh, and so on. Okay, so here we are, we're back now and the checkout page is done. You can add bump to your checkout page to boost your average order value further. So, but what we will do is we will go into one click upsells and we will add our upsells. Now here you will see that you have the option to create an offer and then within offers, you can add a product or multiple products. So let's just call, uh, so we've got moisturizer. 10% off. So that's our offer. And we will add a product here. 
So I've got a product here and we're going to add it. There you go. So we can offer like uh, maybe uh, some percentage off. So we will offer a 10% off on the offer pr uh, on the on the actual price. Once you're done, you're going to save changes. And of course, we must activate this offer so that it does show up in our funnel when the user enters it. You can add new offer here and you can name the offer and then you can choose to connect the two offers uh, in, in a certain manner. So let's say uh, our next offer is a serum. So we call it the face serum, right? Uh, so you can define how you'd like to connect the two offers. So you can add the product over here. Okay, so we, we don't have a, a serum. We'll just... Uh, what we'll do is that uh, we'll just go with, okay, well, let's just go with sunglasses. So if you want, you can even change the name of your offer by going here and saying sunglasses and just update the offer. This is where you can change the URL and that's how you can do it. Now I know that sunglasses are definitely not a good upsell or a downsell to uh, the skincare items that we're selling here but that's just to show you okay so uh once you're done you can just save the changes and of course like activate this as well and just save the changes uh, and you can go back here here you can uh, create a dynamic offer path so when this particular offer which is the moisturizer gets accepted would you like to show them the sunglasses offer or would you like to direct them to the thank you page similarly on rejection of the offer you can define what would you like to do would you like to show the next offer and you can also select um, you know so whether this moisturizer gets accepted or rejected i wish to direct them to the next page to the next offer which is the sunglasses offer so you can do that as well so this is called dynamic offer parts you can link the offers together so once you're happy with your configurations and settings just save changes and you can move over to the design section now, in the design section, you can choose a, um, a particular template, a pre-built template in the Oxygen Page Builder. And as you can see, these are the two products that we have. So let's choose a template uh, for our offer and uh, we'll go with the Stunner. So we will go with the corresponding upsell page template for Stunner. Let's import it. There you go. So it has been now imported. Now, all you have to do is edit it and it'll open inside of Oxygen. Okay, there you go. So that's the template and uh, that's the product that I have. Now, of course, as you can see, the image is not very optimized. Uh, that's okay. Like in your case, you can have a proper uh, product image over here. So what I will do is that I'm going to go here into featured image and I will make the width 75% so it doesn't look too big. And also what I can do is I can go and offer product images and enable slider. So this, so if I have multiple product images, like a gallery of sorts, people can see multiple product images. Uh, they can see an image slider here. And of course, uh, that's going to be center aligned. So well, these are uh, the components that we've created, that WooFunnels has created for the Oxygen Builder. All right, apart from that, you've got the uh, offer price component here and you can again make a bunch of customizations. So that's the regular price. So this is regular price. Uh, you know, you could, uh, you, could, you could also write normal price or whatever else that you like. And uh, this is from where you can adjust the spacing. That's for label typography, which is uh, the normal price or regular price. You can adjust the font size from here, the color, font weight, and font family, and so on. Now, this is uh, for your uh, price typography. Again, you can adjust the font size, uh, type, weight, and again, all of that from here. Uh, then you've got offer price. And here you can add label offer price. So um, offer price will show up right here. And again, uh, you can adjust the label size, uh, the, the label um, font size from here and uh, make it similar to what you have for this or make it slightly bigger. And uh, you can also adjust the font family and so on. This is for price typography. You can make it a little smaller if you like or whatever, uh, whatever makes you look good. So well, that's in the stacked manner. And again, there are a bunch of other settings available to you. So that's for, uh, 
regular price and for offer price and you can do all your customizations apart from that you've got the button right here and again um, you know you can enter your text here that's the title that's the subtitle spacing between title and subtitle can be adjusted from this really cool and nifty slider here then you've got an icon if you wish to add an icon to your button you can do that uh, the colors can be adjusted from here that's the background color and the text color and that's in hover it changes to a slightly darker shade and the, uh, the font color remains white so you can do all of these customizations from here just to make this template yours all you have to do is throw in some social proof and well uh, add some bullets about the product that you're selling and so on uh, so this is it your page would be ready to look on brand and you will be ready to well uh, ha have see your upsell conversion rates skyrocket so once you're happy with all of that just hit save and you are good to go so here we are, we're back now. And again, you can do the same for sunglasses. You can select a template for, from here, uh, select oxygen and select a template from here. We'd highly recommend you go with Stunner itself because we chose the same uh, for this one. So it's better to maintain a consistency, right? Uh, so uh, the same template for both the offers. And that's that. Once you've done it, you're happy with what you've got. Let's go back to the funnel. Similarly, you've got the thank you page here. You can edit the thank you page. And when you hit edit, it will open up in oxygen. All right, there you go. So it's opened up in oxygen. And as you can see, uh, you know, it's a personalized thank you page. So it just shows. So this is the order details component and this is the customer details component. Now, subscription and downloads will only show in case it's a subscription based product or a downloadable. Otherwise, this will just show the order details and the customer details. You can have any button that you like to direct them to the next step in your funnel if there is any which could be reading a blog post which could be joining your club a group whatever it is just make this template yours by adding your logo here by customizing the colors the font type and of course entering your phone number contact email and so on that is it again these are fully customizable as well uh, you know you've got all your details here uh, you can uh, allow them to show image you can have a divider here that's for product typography, which is where the font size, color, font weight, alignment, and all of that for this section can be adjusted. So um, that's it. And uh, again, this is for customer details. Uh, you can again uh, add a heading here and uh, so on. And of course, from here, you can also choose the layout. It could be full width or two column. So that's going to be full width and uh, we'll just go with two columns so this is a pre-made oxygen template for your thank you page so once you're happy with all the changes that you've made to make it look on brand you can just save it and this is it so your sales funnel is ready to collect more orders for you now we're going to go and build a global checkout for our storefront all right so let's create a global checkout for our storefront so for that we will just add new global checkout oxygen and let's add it now there you go all you need to do is go on checkouts from here and since oxygen is our default page builder it's already chosen you can choose from one step two step and three step formats so let's go with two step again you have a bunch of uh, checkout templates available at your disposal which really suit your need of creating a global checkout so you can choose the Shopify style checkout or this minimalist template, which I personally love. So I'm just going to import it. Now it says no products and no bumps. Well, you don't need to add product. That's fine because you're creating a global checkout. For bump, you can add a rule-based bump if you want. Now I'm just going to go and edit it. All right, there you go. So that's the two-step minimalist template. Let's just edit it and it'll open up in size of oxygen. All right, so here we are. So this is opened up in Oxygen. So all you have to do is customize this template to suit your needs, change the header from here, the logo from here, and uh, that's it. And you can also customize the form. So this is the checkout form component in Oxygen. All the options remain the same for steps, headings, sections, fields, and so on that we've discussed in a lot of detail. This is the mini cart component. Again, you have all the options here for cart, for coupon, for typography, font, and all of that. So these uh, these two components are built by Foo Funnels for Oxygen. They are fully customizable. So as you can see, this is a two-step form. 
And uh, yes, and you can navigate from the breadcrumbs right here. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. The Oxygen Lovers, please go ahead and read more about our integration. The link to the blog post is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this content. For more such updates, do subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in my next video. That's me, Tavreen, and I'm signing out.